Hello, I'm Brandon Jury. In this incredible edition of Killing with Cubase, we're going to talk about MIDI basics. Okay. Welcome to back to another exciting adventure video. Um, for this, we're going to get into MIDI basics. And I love working with MIDI. And... Um, it's a little strange because for years I was this rocker guy and I've, I've recorded so many different kinds of music, um, you know, everything from metal and, you know, country, folk, all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of a rare bird, I guess, because I grew up with a lot of like the 80s uh, synth type pop stuff. So I have that definitely in my blood, but at the same time, I've done a lot of organic stuff too. So I'm kind of a, a mixed bag there and I kind of respect both sides equally. If I was in the Civil War, I'd fight on both sides, I guess. So, let's talk about MIDI. Um, first thing to note, and I've covered this many, many times, like in Killer Home Recording setting up. If you don't have that, check out that's a free deal, and I really get into MIDI. Um, but this is, I'm kind of going to be able to demonstrate it more than just talk about it. So, in order to do MIDI in Cubase, we have a few options. And the first one, um, I guess the simplest one, is to pencil it in. So, let's go ahead and create a new track. And as always, um, we'll just right click, add new track, and do, 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 do MIDI track. All right, and I'm going to just call this in junk for now. And we're going to draw our own. And this is where number eight, where is it? Okay, there it is. It's called draw. It says, hey, let's make a track here. I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the uh, snap thing on. That way it, it made exactly however many bars that was, eight or four million something eight I guess okay now um, in Cubase it depends on which version you have some versions have the drum editor some don't um, I like the drum editor a lot although it really isn't I mean it, it's it, the dots turn out different and I have a shortcut that I custom did and uh, and that's control and that squiggly line up there by escape right above tab um, I had to look to even see what it was, but if I highlight this and boom, I have drum editor open up. Now that's one of those custom things. Cubase doesn't come that way. You can also right click, can't you? Oh hell, I don't even remember how to do it. Well, for all those of you who don't have idiotic shortcuts, uh, I recommend you either A, get idiotic shortcuts or B, um, figure out how the hell to open the drum editor. Let's look real quick, maybe projects, maybe MIDI. MIDI sounds better. Here it is, open drum editor, and there it is. Now we don't have anything in there because I haven't drawn anything. So let's go and make something. The only thing is now we won't hear anything because there's nothing routed anywhere. Let's just do a four on the floor uh, kick drum thing, even though I do have five drawn. Okay, and then we're looping, so, oops, wrong button. All right, that's a clue, that didn't help us. Okay, and that reason is we have to send this data somewhere. Again, this is just data. Um, where do I want to send it to? Well, we can send it a few different places. If I wanted to, and I think I have it set up for this, um, I, I could send this out my MIDI interface just to kind of demonstrate what's possible. Um, and let me make sure I got my patch bay right. Okay. And I could send this to my Roland 8080 synthesizer. You guys hearing that? Make sure you are. Okay, and what, what that basically means is is whatever note that kick drum normally defaults to sounds like that when you run it through some random synth processor. That synth's having some trouble. I don't know what I'm go, going there, but as far as that goes, I could just send it to a different one by changing the channel. I guess we'll get into hardware later. Most people aren't gonna use it anymore, it's stupid. It's really cool, but it's expensive and a lot of BS. Uh-oh. All right, what's that guy? Oh, man, that's 8080. Whatever, I'm an idiot. Anyway, the point is um, that it's real easy, depending on what you send this thing to, you're going to get dramatically different sounds because it's just data. Um, and in this case, let's say forget sending it out my interface, and let's go ahead and send it to battery, um, which is our drum thing. I already have it uploaded here. Uploaded. have it loaded here. And as you push F11, you'll see VSD instruments. Now, um, what happens here, let's, actually, let's use a different one. I don't know if I even have any other. I don't really, there's some drum addict thing. A buddy of mine recommended this. 
uh, and see Cubase will actually ask you if you want to create a track for that new instrument. Hey, what the hell, let's do it. All right, I don't remember much about it, so I won't use this once, but all right, I'm gonna drag this down, and I could just drag it, and I might screw it up, especially if snapping is off, because it can go anywhere. It might be just a hair off, and that could cause huge problems. So assuming we're not, we don't have a, a grid to snap to, if you hit Control, it'll go down perfectly exactly where you want it. And if you hit Control, is it Alt? Oh, that was weird, that ain't what I wanted. Oh, if you hold Alt in, and then Control, well, okay, there it is. If you hold Alt in, it'll duplicate it like that, see? And then if you hold Alt in and then push Control, it snaps it perfectly. So that's a good way to make a duplicate. I probably should have covered that in editing. Oh well, what a piece of junk this, this video is. Okay, so we now need to route this thing to Dramatic. Actually, it already did it for us because it asked me. And it's right there. If we wanted to create a new MIDI track, like how, and we... Well, for some reason, it's automatically defaulting to dramatic. It probably knows something. I don't. Cubase is pretty smart sometimes, and retarded other times. Anyway, okay. So our dramatic track. I move our kick down. Let's see what that does. All right, gives us like an 808 drum, which makes sense based on this 808 thing here. Okay. Okay. Now again, we're just sending this MIDI data to that thing. And while we're at it, let's go. Let's kind of do that standard dance music thing that. All the kids love uh, the clothes hi hat. I like it. It's still not it. It's not gonna be it. Okay, and I'll see I moved them, but or I goofed it up, but I'll just drag those. So what do we got there? Now this tempo it sounds retarded. Yeah, it needs to be a lot faster, but but you get the idea there. So. Very natural. Um, so that that sums up the MIDI thing. We have data that triggers very specific notes, and then we route that to the gadget we want to use. And